Hi, everybody. So, I'm sure, especially for the older students in the audience, that you've heard of scientific, well, there we go, scientific articles. These massively, massively long passages of words and words and words and science, and maybe a few numbers thrown in here and there. They're absolutely ginormous, maybe 20 to 30 pages long. Scientists will often spend five to six months on these, furiously typing on their computers and flipping through loads and loads of textbooks. And these scientific articles are published everywhere, all around the world, in articles, journals, books, and these are sent all around the world to be read by an average of 10 people. 10 people. In fact, a study from the University of Indiana Bloomington deduced it down to three. This kind of long-form writing is not working. People are preaching to an audience that isn't even there. And it's because how we approach long-form writing, more specifically, the essay, the progenitor to all these articles. My name is TJ, and I'm here to talk today about what the essay actually teaches you for the real world. Now, I've heard a lot of essays over my time in, in school. And if there's one thing I know from all of them, it's that I don't know how to write an essay. But when I've looked at the context and the skills required to write the essay, you can really see the similarities between an essay and an article. Long form pieces of writing that affix upon a certain topic. But what does it teach us, especially as students? Take the word count, for example. Oftentimes, students will be set a minimum and maximum word count to ensure that we are writing the content to the best of our ability. But what ends up happening is that students begin to waffle, to spout unnecessary words, which results in repetition and words we don't want to read. But how does this affect us in the real world? When you look at a career, especially those that have you interact with other people, recruiters often look for people who can think quick and speak simple. But why? Because when you're interacting with your client, your student, your patient, you want to make sure that they're accurately grabbing, receiving the information or service that you're providing them. And the essay subconsciously teaches us to waffle, to explain in lengthy detail. And if you apply that to your career, maybe your clients won't be too happy. Now, I'm sure the idea of chat GPT is still fresh in our minds. A learning algorithm that inputs what you said and creates an output based on what it thinks. Nowadays, students are using ChatGPT to write loads and loads of essays. But I, and the reason behind it, which a lot of people think, is because they can't. They can't write essays. But I don't think so. I think every student can write an essay or explain their topic, but just not in that form. Students are using ChatGPT just to satiate that work time, to make sure we are reaching that, that love required level. The essay is punishing us with words. So, how can we fix this? How can we change education a little bit so that we aren't cutting on the idea, but the words? Speaking exercises. Not basing a student's ability on words, but time. Take the elevator pitch, for example a tool used by CEOs all over the world. Steve Jobs used to convince John Scully, the CEO of Pepsi at the time, to work for Apple. It essentially has us explain everything we need to in under a minute or an elevator right up a few floors. Hence its name. These kind of speaking tools, if put in class, will not only boost a student's confidence, but also give them a shot at the real world and also the word count. I don't think that a student should be based on how many words they can write, but rather how concise yet comprehensive they can be. Even Albert Einstein said it himself, if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. So, for everybody here, out here, especially the students, next time when you're on your way to class, I want you just to ask yourself a simple question. What does the essay really teach me? Parents, why not as well? What does the essay bring to my child? What value does it bring? Teachers, 
Why not? What value does the essay bring to my students? And for everybody here, always remember to think quick and speak simple.